Well, here we are. Um, my autophagy ended about 12.30. It's uh, 5 after 2 right now. And my fast will end within another hour or so. So it's 119 hours. What, 1%? Um, what happened? Gosh, my knee is healed. How weird. I mean, really weird. Um, I started the fast Monday uh, through Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, uh, we wanted to walk downtown. So that's about two miles away. And uh, we have to cross a pedestrian bridge. So you have to, you know, walk up uh, several steps. And, and my right knee was still kind of feeling like an ache on flexion as I would go ahead and push the... Um, because I would use it to, you know, lift myself up the stairs. I'm like, well, okay, whatever. Well, last night, after the fourth day of fasting, apparently this autophagy stuff kicked right in because I went up a ladder, which is even more harsh on my knees to get up on the roof because I had to install some bricks and some silicone to kind of divert some water so it didn't come through the door of the whole nine yards. And I'm like, it doesn't hurt. And so I stood there and I uh, checked my left leg, went down, stood up, nothing obviously. And then the right knee, down, up, no pain. Healed. Just healed. <sighs> Amazing. And I feel wonderful. Again, I had my bone broth at about 1230. And... Uh, I ate it cold because it's all like dense and jiggly. I can give you a recipe if you want. It's awesome stuff, man. It had pork bones and chicken bones and the chicken skin and some guts. And, well, I mean, you know, the kidneys and such. Um, and then what I do is I put it in the fridge. And as it cools, obviously the grease comes to the top. I scrape the fat off because re, re, uh, refeeding is probably, it's not the best thing in the world to do to go ahead and uh, eat a bunch of fat right away. Your body, obviously, you haven't had any, anything solid in there for what? Uh, and it's still, I mean, bone broth isn't solid. So um, uh, for five days, um, I do, like I said, I remember hearing about a, a story on Chubby Emu. Look that up. It's a YouTube channel. Awesome stuff. This did um, fast for five or seven days. And to break her fast... She took in, I'm going to say, 10 pounds of bananas. Um, the bananas that we have today are GMO. They're, they're genetically modified. They've been husbanded, husbanded, if that's the that's the term for animals. But what they do is they, the original banana was like this green, you break it open, it's got a bunch of seeds. It's, it's nothing like the banana today. Um, if you guys know anything about bananas, the current banana that you buy in the store is sterile. It cannot reproduce. You can't plant a banana. I actually don't know how they how they keep the plants going. It's, it's you know nothing I need to deal with. That all happens in the Dominican Republic or or wherever Costa Rica or wherever they grow these darn things. But uh, the glycemic index on that thing. If you take straight sugar, that's a hundred, all right, and then zero would be like olive oil or lard okay bananas are like 40 and she took 10 pounds of those things down um after five days you are insulin sensitive i don't care how sick you think you are but and that just meant that she imbibed a bunch of fructose and glucose and her insulin went off the chart and opened up every cell in her body and it just took all of the glucose immediately. The liver had to deal with the fructose first, but that I don't know how long that that uh, metabolism takes, but I can imagine it's not the slowest thing in the world. So, um, and she essentially just, it's like, let's say you have a, a little toy that takes one and a half volts, okay? A little jumping frog. And I hook it up to house current. 120 volts, 60 amps. And I go, boom. The frog's just going to go, boom. That's what her body did, and all of her organs shut down. Um, so, yeah. Uh, when you refeed, the uh, I've studied 
everything I can on this thing, and, and I've never, ever not eaten for five days in a row before. In, in my almost 55 years, never. And it's like, this was way cool. Um, and I actually just kind of miss sitting down and eating, but uh, I found stuff to do. So um, <clears throat> what you're supposed to do is uh, take in bone broth, get your stomach kind of prepared. Uh, mTOR automatically says, oh, we have protein, we have collagen, we have uh, micronutrients. We have, I mean, bone broth is like the most delicious stuff. There was this anecdote they said that this evil mom fed her favorite child all the meat and gave the child all the broth. And it turns out that this kid winds up outliving his brother by, what, several decades. Um, so, um, essential ma here, um, after about two hours having eaten the bone broth, you can eat some lean meat. So I'm going to make myself some uh, hamburgers. Uh, and here in Mexico, unless you ask for fat, most of your hamburger meat's almost 100% just pure meat. Um, there is no fry up. I mean, water will come off the meat itself, but there's no fat left. So again, hamburgers here in Mexico, if you buy them from your local uh, butcher, I'm not talking about the mega stores or anything that the Americans have down here. I'm talking your ma and pa, he gets the cattle right off the field and he's the one that chops it up and everything else. Um, the hamburger meat, it's, it's ground twice, so they one pass. They throw it back through and they, they pass it again. So it's really minced. And it just makes delicious hamburgers. And I'm going to fry those on a little bit of olive oil. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to make them on, the, uh, on a hot plate grill. Uh, the flat boy or whatever whatever that dude calls it. I, eat filet. I can't remember his name right now. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and maybe put a little bit of, uh, a little bit of hot sauce on it. Uh, Mexican salsa. Um, but I'm not going to eat any vegetables necessarily, or nopales, or even my avocado today. Um, so I'm going to let the uh, I'm going to let the uh, the meat kind of do its thing. Maybe I'll add a little little touch of mayonnaise, uh, some cheddar cheese. I checked. Uh, the fat isn't intense on that. I mean, the idea is you don't want to eat a beef rib for Christ's sake, um, sobbing with with fat. That comes uh, the day after if you want. Um, and in the evening tonight at 8 o'clock, I'm going to go ahead and eat a, uh, I'll make myself maybe two or three eggs, depending on how I feel, a uh, frittata with some carnitas that we just bought. Oh, my God. Uh, imagine, if you will, a pig uh, being cut up and done with whatever you have to done with it. And then you cook this thing in lard. Oh. Spanish, we say nada que ver. There's nothing like it on earth. I just thank Jesus. He's sitting up here on his cross next to me. Thank you, Jesus, for letting us eat pork because, oh my goodness gracious. So, um, I went ahead and uh, uh, that'll be kind of my dinner for tonight with the egg. And then the next day, oh, it's Sunday. Yeah, yeah, I ordered a bunch of chicken wings. <laughs> so I'm going to make myself a salad and I'm going to make a... Uh, an avocado dressing, all right? It'll be creamy and delicious and everything, but it's not gonna have any of the seed oils, which I, I do not want. Um, so um, I'll season it as if it were mayonnaise, and but I'll throw in a little bit of cream. And if that works out, then I'm gonna kind of give up mayonnaise because the only other mayonnaise, the original mayonnaise appeared in the 18th century after some battle of the, the Bay or the Sea of Maon, M-A-H-O-N. And that turned into mayonnaise that is coming from mayon or maon, as the French don't pronounce the H. Uh, and he made it, uh, so he, he ran out of cream, and so he took an egg yolk and with a whisk, and he mixed in olive oil. So that was the original mayonnaise. It was an olive oil and mayonnaise. Those are really strong. And if there's a way I can figure out how to maybe dilute that out a little bit, maybe with cream, um, I'll work on it. But I am giving up seed oils, um, those things that you call vegetable oils, Wesson and, and safflower and nutrioli and, and rape seed oil. I mean, really, canola oil. You're going to eat an oil that comes from a rape seed? 
excuse moi huh? and the avocado oil uh -uh. avocado oil is not real uh, that is to say that uh, if you look at the the, the the smoke point and it says um, you know it's one of the highest smoke points it's been processed real avocado oil is green like a natural olive oil is all right uh, and you can't really find it and if you do <laughs> you're gonna have to sell your kids inheritance in order to buy it all right but but that's kind of what I'm gonna do so um, if I like that I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing it uh, obviously pounding my apple cider vinegar love that stuff especially when you're hungry believe it or not apple cider vinegar is like it makes me salivate it's like so delicious um, so yeah I'm gonna complete it's just 120 hours uh, in other words I started eating at 3 on Monday and I think we finished up around 4 or so but you know who cares an hour here and there 1% so sue me but uh, kind of proud I, I did uh, finish my 5 days of fasting and again the beef broth actually does not take you out of fasting um, it takes you out of autophagy but not fasting because it does nothing to insulin insulin sits there and goes he's got some bone bro what you gonna do about it nothing there's no insulin on bone broth so since I've hit my goal I was 97.9 this morning Ura, 215 pounds haven't been that light uh, in over 20 years and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a 72 hour fast here in the next couple of weeks and get my my doctor friend to give me an order for a blood workup but I want the expensive one I want the centrifuge because I, I do not want the um, when you guys get your blood work trust me you're not getting um, you're not getting you're getting calculations and if you fast any longer than about 12 hours for your blood work, you're going to increase your LDL and your insurance companies and your doctors are going to freak freakazoid out. Um, unfortunately, either they know and they're lying to you or they don't know and it's not their fault. That's not kind of how it works. So I expect my LDL to be off the chart. But here's what you look at. You look at trigus, triglycerides and HDL that's your trigger right there and I can tell you if your HDL I don't remember the numbers because I, I know the Australian UK system is different than the US and I think it was somewhere around two or three I, I don't quote me the idea is that if your HDL is here and this is zero then your triglycerides have to be either here or less and that means you ain't got no heart trouble never again and that's the end of that and that's kind of what I'm looking for and I want to watch the doctor's eyes bug out of his head and when I tell him yeah my my uh, five-day fasting blood pressure I think was 97 was 97 over 59 or something like that and my best plus blood pressure I ever registered was 95 over 55 uh, that's with a, a wrist cuff but they always say that that at wrist cuff is actually higher than it really is dudes my blood pressure is in the sink um, my insulin zero my blood glucose is completely like this and when my brain needs it your brain and I think some other functions require it the uh, hypothalamus will go ahead and say liver and need some glucose done boom and I, I think it happens like instantaneously and that's why um, I've lost in the last hundred days I have lost 14 kilos uh, I would imagine that's close to 30 pounds in three months and normally you lose that kind of weight and you're gonna have what we call uh, brazo tamadera um, this is all the skin I have all right I'm making quite a muscle all right but here's the skin I mean I normally had that skin anyway so you don't have this dangling hanging and they call it tamalera because the um, old ladies, the viejitas that hand you the tamal, they have this bag of skin hanging under here. I think you've seen it before. So it's called brazo tamalera. And uh, I'm not having that. Um, I don't mean to be indiscreet, but I had man boobs, and those are diminishing. Okay. I imagine if I can keep this up and actually do some some workouts my daughter gave me the seven minute workout something or other and if I can do that and actually I will wind up being like 55 years old 
lean cut. All right, and I'm going to brag, and I will, I will put, like Thomas DeLauer, I will put my damn picture on there, right? I'm not going to take steroids and try to build ball. No, that's, that's for young, dumb people who, who are more in love with themselves than humanity. I'm just talking, no offense, um, I'm just talking about being a 55-year-old, cut, powerful, lean, like, damn, I should have married your butt when you was in high school, baby, right? Um, so anyway, that's just kind of how that's going to work. And uh, I guess I'll sign off. I know I've been rambling, but I, I, I cannot tell. I felt, I'm 20, guys. Uh, and there was another bacterial issue that I know I had. I mean, I didn't trust medical science on it, but the symptoms I had, and I looked everywhere, and everyone pointed at the exact same thing. Gone. No cold sores. Gone. Allergies, a little bit. But um, they, they were never as intense as they used to be. I had, you know, the little tear duct, like you just want to yank it out. Well, it wasn't that bad. And I can normally breathe during the day. And in the evening, um, depending on which side I'm laying, um, my nose will clear out. I haven't had sleep apnea in over 100 days. I haven't, uh, just everything, just everything, just everything. I don't even wake up to use the uh, latrine anymore. The head. I don't wake up and you do that anymore. Uh, also, I've instituted, and I think I'm going to back it up a little bit, I've instituted a 12-hour complete dry fast, so I don't take anything into my body for a full 12 hours overnight. I think I'm going to see if I can start backing that up to maybe, <clears throat> well, uh, no earlier than obviously if I eat sane at 8 o'clock. But that means by the time I wind up with my coffee, I'm already... It's already 13 hours having not drunk anything. And uh, it's great because, uh, A, you don't need it. Your body will deal with it. And you uh, you don't need to wake up like five times a night. I don't wake up at all now. I mean, I wake up like, okay, uh, and then roll over and out again. Oh, sorry, I don't, I don't do that anymore either. Crazy. Uh, I used to wake up my wife all the time. You're sorry. And then that ruins your sleep, and then you get all cranky, and you yell, and wake me up. Start eating right, and your wife will love you more. Trust me, she will love you a lot more, okay? Oh, my God. Okay, uh, like I said, you eat meat, and everything gets better. Guys, trust me on this one. Um, you know, again, I, I'm not going to get gross or anything, but... Uh, what a joy to wake up with a kickstand in your mid-50s. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get all red because I'm not supposed to do that. Sorry. Um, awesome. I am flipping 20 again. Uh, I wonder if my hair will turn dark again. I mean, I, don't, I guess I don't have as much gray hair as others. And I'm certainly not losing it. Uh, that may be genetics. I'm, I don't know, and I don't care. But... Uh, you know, if my wrinkles start going away and my skin, like, again, your, your body starts to consume that in autophagy. It, it actually eats it up and, and brings it back to where, where it's supposed to be. Uh, and your whole body it starts to renew and you get new DNA and your cells start, you become a whole new you. <sighs> Bone density gets better. Um, whatever. No, just, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't try to convince you. Eat your bread. Make sure you have a lot of sugar and all your stuff. Drink plenty of Coke. Um, eat fast food every day and go ahead. And if you're really, if you're really feeling good, just take a whole bottle of canola oil and suck that down. Enjoy your life. Uh, but for those of you who want to like become my disciples, have I got a plan for you? We'll talk soon. Bye.